The future of social media might be rolling out right before us. We know that Twitter started selling check marks a while ago. A lot of people bashing them for that, including me. I think it's pretty dumb to pay for a virtual check mark on a website. That just doesn't really add too much value to you. But if it's so important, by all means, buy it. But looks like Mark Zuckerberg got the idea from Elon Musk. And now Instagram is selling you the verification check marks. Now, seems like that's the new play for these social media companies. It's a new revenue stream. This subscription thing that's happening doesn't make a lot of sense because Twitter Blue isn't extremely successful. It's not like it's a booming success. Yet Meta is doing this already, charging for Instagram check marks. Uh, they have a little bit different of a plan, but it is still weird to see like the two platforms where being verified like i don't people like bragged about that a good thing to have a check mark on instagram and twitter and now you just buy them so you can see mark zuckerberg put this out saying good morning new product announcement this week we're starting to roll out meta verified a subscription service that lets you verify your account with a government id get a blue badge that's the check mark and get extra impersonation protection against accounts claiming to be you and get direct access to customer support this new feature is about increasing authenticity and security across our services. Meta Verified starts at $12 a month on the web or $15 a month on iOS. There's a couple different things there. One being, I believe on Twitter, you could just pay the $8 a month or whatever it is, and you get your check mark on Twitter blue. But with Facebook, Meta's version, you are going to have to submit your government ID. So Mark Zuckerberg, who already has all the data he could ever imagine on you, he wants even more. He needs your government ID uh, to make sure that it's you. And things that the platforms should have done already, like protecting you against impersonation, that is their job already to do that. And now they're charging you to do that instead of actually doing their job. I think that's a pretty weird way of twisting this, right? They're twisting this as a good thing, but it's it's really you paying them for what they should already be doing for you. This this thing is, uh, it's, it's just what they should be doing, but charging you for it while giving you a virtual check mark to make you feel good about yourself, I guess. And they're more expensive than Twitter, $12 a month for a check mark on Instagram. I maybe on Facebook too. I'm guessing this is across their meta thing. So it should probably is Facebook, Instagram, all this, but it's $12 a month. That is insane for a check mark. If it means that much to you, like why? Why would a check mark on a Instagram mean so much to you that you have to pay for it? On top of that, we know that this is going so well on Twitter that every time someone sees someone subscribe to Twitter Blue, they meme on them, make fun of them for paying for Twitter. So it's not like this is a raving success and people are accepting it and loving it and it's so great. The users aren't really buying it on Twitter for Twitter Blue. It's not like a roaring success. It's a very small amount of people buying it. And if you buy it, you're going to get bullied online. People are going to make fun of you for paying for Twitter, which maybe rightfully so. Who is going to pay for the cesspool of the internet that is Twitter? Well, we can see uh, Zuckerberg and Meta talk more about this, about this feature that they're rolling out. Uh, Mark says this new feature is about increasing authenticity and security across our services. Again, what they should already be doing. They should already have security on their platform for you because it is their platform. They're responsible for securing the, your data on there. They're already harvesting it. The least they could do is secure it. And also authentic authenticity, you know, to not allow people to impersonate somebody else that they're not. They should already be doing that, not charging for it. But uh, here again, you have a Meta spokesperson said Sunday that there are impersonation protections in place with Meta verified subscriptions, something they should already be doing. In order to qualify, users must be at least 18 years old, meet minimum account activity requirements, and submit a government ID that matches their profile name and photo. Subscriptions also include proactive monitoring for account impersonation, according to the spokesperson. So it's a little bit more in depth than Twitter's, right? Twitter's is like, you pay for it, you get your check mark. Uh, Instagram or Meta's is 
you pay for it after you go through your whole background check to prove you're at least 18 years old, prove you are who you are by submitting your ID, and you you have to make sure that all your IDs match your profile pictures, all of this stuff. So there's a lot more gates to it. It's not like anyone can do it. It's a lot harder for someone random to do it than just you know you to actually verify yourself. Uh, but another big big point to this that's a lot different than Twitter's is this part here. This says businesses are not currently active to apply for Meta Verified, and the company said users will not be able to change their profile name, username, date of birth, or profile picture without going through the application process again. So if you want to pay for your check mark on Instagram, Facebook, you have to go through the vetting process, the background check, and make sure that you are who you say you are, give uh, Facebook Meta even more data than they already have on you. Give them your government ID. Make sure that they know exactly who you are and can pinpoint everything about you so that they can probably sell that to advertisers for a nice pretty penny. And on top of that, you're not allowed to change anything. Don't change your profile picture. Don't change your username. You can't change anything because if you do, it breaks it. You're no longer verified. You got to go through your whole process again. Give them all of your data again just to get a virtual check mark. I really have no idea why people value these check marks so much. M maybe people don't actually because Twitter Blue was not a big success. It's a very small number of people compared to like their monthly users who actually pay for Twitter Blue for the check mark and everything. And, you know, maybe people don't actually really care, but the vision of these social media companies is that so many people care, so many users want that, that check mark so bad that they're willing to pay $12 a month for it, which is, if you're paying anything for a check mark, you got to rethink it. It's not a flex to pay to be verified on a social media map. Basically, you are paying to use the app that everybody else uses for free. So who's the real sucker there? But it does seem this could be the future of social media, right? We originally had Twitter doing this. Everyone clowned on it, said, oh my God, look how dumb. And now the biggest social media company in the world, which is Facebook, Meta, they are doing the exact same thing. They're copying Elon Musk. So it looks like this is uh, another revenue stream that these companies are trying to go through. Twitter's is less invasive. You just pay them. They give you your virtual check mark. Facebook's Instagram metas is much more intrusive. You have to prove to them who you are, give them all of your personal data, your government ID, make sure that you can prove who you are, and then you're restricted on your account. You can't change anything. Otherwise, uh-oh, now you got to go through the process all again. So it's two very different models. I think even though Twitter's is super simple, didn't get much traction, metas being way more intrusive and restrictive Maybe it does even worse than Twitter's, but they're both uh, Instagram and Facebook are massive companies. So maybe people are dying for verification on those platforms. I don't know. That's going to do it for this video. As always, smash like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.